Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of graphing on the coordinate plane. This is standard 6.11a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 14, which is a new item type called graphing, of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So this is a new item type called graphing. We simply need to plot a point in the coordinate plane. We're not even making a line or anything. And wherever we click, right, it's going to put that there for us. So it looks like we can do halves, right? And then once we put something down, you can't really take it off. So we're going to have to put something somewhere. All right, so let me just kind of stick that right there for now. Let's take a look at our problem, and let's see what we have. So we got a, a point here, and let's just go ahead and plot this, right? So we've got our x coordinate, right? So our x value is going to be 2, and our y value is going to be negative 1. Okay, so that's point r is 2, negative 1. So what is a location of a point? So they give us a hint, quadrant three, and then we need a horizontal distance of two and a half units. Okay, so first off, this quadrant three is actually a pretty big hint because hopefully we remember the order of the quadrants, okay? So it starts this quadrant right here where everything is positive, right? This quadrant right here, that's where we started in fifth grade. Everything was positive. We only saw quadrant one, right? In sixth grade, we start being introduced to all four quadrants. So what happens if an X or Y or possibly both are negative? So it goes in this order. So this is quadrant four down here, right? So think of the letter C, okay? You're starting at the top and how we draw a letter C from the top down. That's how you can keep track of one, two, three, and four. That's the correct order there. So since we're going in quadrant three, that means the answer needs to be in this, and I'll highlight this in green, in this quadrant right here. Okay, so my answer has to be over here. So that's extremely helpful because now I know that I'm going to have a negative x and a negative y because in quadrant three, you have both negative x's and negative y's. All right, so what do we know about this new point I need? It has to be a horizontal, okay? So that's a vocabulary word. It's not gonna be on your reference materials. Hopefully we remember that horizontal means side to side, okay? Think about when you're outside and you look at the horizon. Horizon is, you know, that imaginary line to where the sky meets the ground, right? That's the horizon, and it goes from side to side. So that's the horizon. So horizontal means we're gonna be moving side to side, which means if we're only changing the horizontal distance, my y value is gonna stay the same, okay? So my y value in the original point R is negative one. So I'm gonna keep that as my negative one. Now here's the thing. I can go two and a half distance both left and right. So if I wanted to go to the right, I would go one, two, right there, okay? So that would be four and a half, negative one. But look where that ends me up, in quadrant four. I need to be in quadrant three. So now I know that I need to go to the left. And that's kind of the trick there, because some students might choose that four and a half, negative one, I need to be in quadrant three, so let's go two and a half units to the left. One, two, and it's going to go right there. Okay, so my new spot here is going to be negative one half and then negative one. Okay, so let's do that. Negative one half, negative one, and there we go. It's two and a half units from point R. It is in quadrant three, and that's it. There's nothing else to push. That is my answer. 